Light and peace, brothers and sisters. Topic of discussion today is Islam in Africa. I have been um, researching and studying a lot of uh, spirituality uh, lately. And um, I did a video um, a while back about Buddha in Africa because um, I started seeing this people, a lot of people on YouTube and uh, uh, YouTube and Google, they kept on posting these articles and trying to say that Buddha started in Africa, which is not true. And, and one thing that I also noticed is that they tried to portray that Islam started from a different continent and then it came to Africa which is now true. So in every foundation, something starts from somewhere, which is okay. But the question is, did Islam start from a different continent beside Africa? That's not true. Islam started from Africa, yes, but then it spread to other continents, yes. But did it start outside of Africa? That's not true. And the amazing thing about the OAPC is that OAPC records all this history in order to educate and show the people. And I'm going to show from OAPC clearly that Islam started from Africa. And then whatever happened after that, due to the, uh, the Islamic God warring, with the Christian God trying to take locality, trying to get, you know, parts of other continent, that was later on. But the initial foundation and the beginning of Islam, that started from Africa. Um, and one of the things that people uh, try to misunderstand is that they, they will ask you, you know, for receipt and what was so amazing was that i was watching a documentary on youtube last time they spoke about a, 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 a slave from west africa who was who was enslaved from west africa to america and in that he had written in arabic he was actually islam and this was between the year this was in the year 1700 when he was enslaved so how did Islam started? How, if this guy, if Islam came from another continent, how was this slave who was enslaved in West Africa a Muslim? He was a Muslim when he was enslaved. Okay. So, but I'm not going to get into this timeline because I see a lot of people want to argue about timeline. Yeah, it, uh, uh, Islam got, you know, populated over time because of course, uh, the Muslim God Gabriel, which will absolutely reveal as Gabriel, Angel Gabriel, he needed to uh, and and uh, expand himself. And not only did he want him to expand himself, he wanted to destroy the doctrine of uh, Christ. He wanted to destroy the Christian God because he this this Muslim God used to work for the Christian God as a warning angel. And this Muslim God was the one responsible for casting Baal and Astero to hell so that the Christian God can gain dominion of the world at that time. You know, so um, I'm going to go to Oapsi for a minute and uh, show this recording that Oapsi captured uh, that, you know, Islam actually started in Africa. And you got some people who don't get this understanding. Amazing thing is this book was published in the year 1882, we're in the year 2022, and people still arguing about the book, saying, oh, no, this book is not authentic. <laughs> but the book has truth in there. You know, the book tells you the history of heaven. It tells you the history of our world, and you don't want to accept it. Right here, uh, Book of Extra, chapter 49, verse 21, 22, 23, and verse 31. Verse 21. I'm reading from the book of Extra, chapter 49. Yeah, I will establish my kingdom of heaven and forever. I will show this false Christ. He's talking about the Christian God. What I can do. Mark you, the great power of a God is to establish 
or good fort wood on earth the natural increase will soon populate in the heavenly kingdom you see that so yeah you have uh the islamic god the muslim god who already went through all this educational system in heaven he knows how to build a, a, a heaven he knows all this he was a warring angel before he knows all of this he went through the educational system he was under the christian guard for a long time so he knows how to do all of this verse 22 i will raise up a prophet and see of my own on earth because this is how they establish a doctrine and establish a new doctrine among mortals behold i have a sword that will cut the pieces Luomon's kingdom on earth he's talking about the christian god for listen in the old egyptian libraries are books tablets and manuscripts that will show the perversity of the coastal bible he's talking about the christian god here yeah. because the christian god formed christianity and he declared himself christ and he combined two books together the old testament and the new testament but the one that had more protesting happened to be the coastal by coastal time bible which is the new testament verse 23 now when i have established my prophet i will cause mortal legions of arabia you see that so if the if the muslim god uh wanting to establish his uh religion right he will not establish his religion in arabia which is africa he will go somewhere else why would you want to establish your prophet and your mortals in arabia if Arabia, if Arabia was not where you wanted to start. But yeah, verse 23 is clearly telling you, now when I have established my prophet, he's talking about Muhammad, yeah, I will cause mortal legions. He's talking about followers of mortals. He's going to get humans, mortals, legions, many of them. And he's getting them from Africa. And he said Arabia. So he's talking about Africans to possess these libraries. You see that? Especially Alexander, which is Egypt. And I will raise up mortal scholars who shall establish the truth of my doct my prophet doctrines and falsity of the false Christ doctrine. I will just overthrow his earthly kingdom and possess all these mortal regions myself forever. I'm verse 31. And with this host, Ativian departed on earth for Arabia. You see that? So you got the, the, the Muslim God, he he he's about to go to war. But his war, in order for him to establish himself, he's starting his foundation and his base in Africa, right there. And with this host, this is in heaven now, they departed to earth and they went straight to Africa for Arabia as he went for his drop group of angels for his host at the starting distance, which he formed the light of light from heaven so he formed gabriel form of light gabriel happens to be the uh the muslim god now right he formed his light from heaven down to arabia which is africa so this is my question right so if the foundation of islam did not start in africa or obviously would have said clearly where else he started just like buddha did not start in africa buddha started in vinju which is today called india if buddha started in africa right this is another example because i see people talking about this buddha thing starting in africa nonsense um they would have said it clearly in oapsi the beautiful thing about oapsi is that the angels who transmitted this information one of their purpose and goal was to expose the four religions which happens to be christianity islam buddha and uh Brahmi MZ with people call Hinduism today. And that's one of their purposes to expose these religions, right? Yeah, you have it, right? So if if the Muslim God, the Islamic God wanted to establish himself somewhere else, outside in a, in a different continent, he would have said it. Now for the truth here shows in the book of Exodus, chapter 50, verse 11 to 12 and 17, verse 11, brothers. I will tell you why I'm chosen of God. This uh, yeah, is uh, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad talking. It is to circumcise the um, Christians' idolatry from coming into Arabia. So the guy, Muhammad, is talking in Africa. He is talking. He is, exp he is telling the people of Africa that we need to stop Christianity from coming into Africa. 
or holding any type of base because what happened was that the Christian God and the Muslim God started weighing war and they started fighting each other and when you read the Wapsi you will see that they were waging war they were fighting for years for for 10 years for 20 years for 30 for 100 years even all the way to 500 to 1000 years the Christian God and the Muslim God were fighting for locality and base you know, at the end of the day, you know, for the end of dividing all this division of the earth, right? But initially, Africa was the baseline and the hold for Islam. Islam started in Africa. Here you have it. Our book of Exodus chapter 50, verse 11 to 12 and verse 17. Brothers, I will tell you why I'm chosen of God. It's to circumcise the Christians, idolatry from coming into Arabia and the countries north and south and east. You see, he's talking about the full Africa here, right? Clearly. Verse 12. These countries were given by God to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and then down to Moses, then down to us. And verse 17, hear this. He said, will you submit like slaves and have them despoil you? Is there no Arabia blood in your veins? Here is Muhammad, who happened to be a, a prophet for the Islamic God, right? He, he happens to be a prophet, a mouthpiece for the Muslim, the Islamic God. He's telling the people, Is there no Arabian blood in your veins? That you must allow these Christians, this Christianity to dominate you? Because when you look at the map of Africa today, right? And when you look at statistics, Christianity and Islam dominate Africa without sugarcoating, right? But so there's war in heaven during that time back then. And the book of Ezra is telling you what Muhammad said to the Arabians. Okay. So brothers and sisters, this topic was just to, to show without sugarcoating that Islamic started in Africa. Later on, of course, um, the, the Muslim God started gaining dominion in other countries because he needed to expand his empire. And one of his things was to, to eradicate the Christian God. He wanted to get rid of him because he was upset. Because, you know, what happened was the Christian God promised the Muslim God Jerusalem. And the guy did not give him Jerusalem. He ignored him. You know, so he took control of his he now what what the Muslim God did was that he left the Christian God and then he started his own doctrine and in order for him to establish himself he looked for another prophet or Suez and he found Muhammad okay and then Muhammad was the one that assisted him to to found to found the foundation to create a foundation to start Islam in Africa and later on Islam started spreading because the more souls you get, the more powerful you become in heaven. So if you remain, let's say you have um, 500,000 souls in heaven. What's the point? It makes no sense, right? So you got to gain dominion. You got to expand yourself. So that's, this is what the Muslim God started doing. Because he knew the secrets of heaven. That, you know, if you, if you look at what he said right here, right? So let's go back to the book of Extra, chapter 49, right? Verse 21, he said, Yeah, I will establish my heavenly kingdom and forever. I will show this false Christ what I can do. Mind you, the great power of a, a, a God is to establish a foothold in earth. The natural increase will soon populate the heavenly kingdom. You see, that's just it. Brothers and sisters, here you have it. Islam started in Africa and afterward it started spreading and populated to other continents. Light and peace, brothers and sisters. Bye bye. Light and peace, brothers and sisters.